Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I'm about to show you is is kind of beyond the pale because the gun controllers are at it again. This time, they are comparing childhood cancer with school shootings. And they've made an entire video about it. This ranks up there with the thoughts and prayers for the pool drowning, watching a child drown. That one was a good one. Uh, the auto or AI generated voices of dead children calling congressmen. And now we've got a childhood cancer video. They're jumping the shark so far and so hard, but there's a reason why they're doing it. I'm going to break it all down right now. Everything will be linked into the description box below. And please send this one out because the patterns that are showing up will turn the general population away from the gun controllers if we spread it. So please make sure you do that. And while you're doing it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And this content is brought to you by the Vanish giveaway. Check out this little information about it, and then we're gonna hit this insanity. I've got to tell you about the biggest giveaway I've ever done on this channel. Vanish Holsters is giving away an $80,000 custom Rocky Ridge Silverado for free to one lucky American who buys one of their holsters or t-shirts through June 3rd. Now this is not your everyday range holster. This is the holster that eliminates the excuse not to carry every day because of comfort. In fact, there's a money back guarantee based around that comfort level. If it's 99% of semi-automatic handguns on the market, can hold two magazines and is completely versatile in where you actually strap this bad boy up. It has a no stink material, it's completely adjustable and it fits up to 48 to 68 inch waist. And in order to have this opportunity to get the truck, all you have to do is enter to win in the link below for 50 bucks off your order as well. And you get a chance for this truck. So check it out right down there in the description box. All right, beautiful people. What we're about to talk about makes me pretty angry. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna keep it buttoned up and locked in, but it does, it does speak to something. So one of the themes that we've been talking about for a while now on this show, but also on the new podcast, which is linked if you want to check it out, um, the gun controllers are losing their ROI or their return on their investment for their actions. Okay, So for example, we need to ban ARs. That chanting slogan doesn't carry the same political punch that it did 10 years ago, 5 years ago, because everyone's tired of it. We get it. You want to ban ARs. We get it. It's unconstitutional. So they've got to up the shock value. That's why you see things like March for Our Lives spelling out actual words in coffins on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. It happened. Davy Hogg's group. That's also why you see them disrupting halls of Congress to get attention, media, attention. That's now why you're seeing the media productions of children drowning in pools, which we covered, and saying thoughts and prayers while parents and adults watch the child die. That happened. Then you've got the AI generation of voices of dead children calling congressional members saying, I died because you didn't do gun control. March for Our Lives, same guy who did this video, father of one of the Parkland students. And now you've got childhood cancer and gun violence related together. Guys, th they're losing return on investment, so they're having to up the shock value to get the same return. That's what's happening. They're going too far, and it's going to turn people off. But anyway, let's get into this, because i got to show you why it's going to turn you off, because this is disgusting. Parkland Father teams with director for chilling childhood cancer gun violence video. The video highlights that while cancer is the number three leading cause of death for children and teens, gun violence is the number one leading cause. Well, at least we're starting off with a lie. It's not the number one leading cause of gun violence. Uh, gun violence is not the leading cause of death for children. It's, it's such a manipulated statistic, and we've covered it so much, it's common sense at this point. They've abandoned that talking point across the board. That's why they say children and teens, because it lost the punch. It was a lie. Um, the other thing here is... I just want to sh I want to jump to the end. I'm just going to show you something because imagine having experienced the loss of a child through cancer, something that is I couldn't even imagine it because I have children myself. I couldn't imagine any of these things happening to children. But to make a video about a child cancer patient finally going back to school after the final chemo and then basically putting her in front of a uh, school shooting in order to draw attention to your cause, you got a special level of uncaring. But anyway, let me show you. This is the quotes from the guy who actually did this. This is last name Oliver, Joaquin Oliver. It's the gun controller. Oliver knows it could be traumatizing for gun violence survivors and those who've lost loved ones in Parkland as he did. 
In a way, I have the right to do this. I know the feeling and I know the frustration after six years, he said. Oliver said the power of the film's message to do something about all forms of gun violence is worth the discomfort it might cause. Oh yeah? You piece of excrement? Why don't you talk to the parents who have watched their children... Um, who have watched their children die in hospital beds? Why don't you go down that road? Because your cause, you've deemed that your cause is more important than their discomfort. That's what you just said. They are going down roads that shows you who they are because all they care about is their outcome. They want their gun control. And they'll do anything. They'll show you a video of a young child drowning in a pool while parents sit there and pray and watch and everyone makes fun of it. They'll show you the AI voices of children and then call Congress members who have been shot in schools. And then they're now going to conflate childhood cancer into a school shooting. But it's worth the discomfort it causes because I feel like I've earned the right so I can do it. Don't know how else to make this more clear. These people are losing their return on investment, so they're jumping to shock value. And they're going to get shock value because this needs to go everywhere. This is beyond disgusting. And I'm not going to play a bit of this clip because the entire movie is six minutes long. They made a 90-second snippet version too. But let me show you a few things here. In the six years since the Parkland mass shooting tragedy, Manuel Oliver has devised and instigated many well-publicized demonstrations against gun violence. Oliver's son, Joaquin, was murdered inside the uh, high school. We know all about that. Oliver's latest effort to honor his son is completely different. He is a consultant on a short film, American Cancer Story, a chilling look at both childhood cancer and school shootings. They are conflating childhood cancer and criminal activity, which is horrible. And they say we're uncaring and we don't, we don't give a sh we don't give a ish about anything. I'm trying to draw a very important distinction and shine a spotlight on the fact that they just don't simply care whose feelings they hurt, who they care, or who they, um, who they crush. It doesn't matter. It's all about their end goal. They're going to get that gun control. It's by hook or by crook. So you're going to sit down and you're going to watch these videos. And we're going to conflate childhood cancer to gun violence. It is, let's just keep going. In this case, we're putting together two terrible causes of death of our kids. One is gun violence, which is number one, and another one is cancer. So by merging this, I think we are amplifying our demographics. Do you understand what he just said? He just said that by joining cancer in children, and gun violence in the same video. Well, now that expands their demographics to talk to people about gun control. That means they're going to talk to people who are interested in cancer about gun control, trying to conflate the two. There's very few times that I get lost for words. One time was with that pool video, and now this is another one. But this is who we're fighting. And this is why we're going to win. This is why we're going to pass our blessings on to the next generation. Because these people are zealots. They do not care what they crush in the way. It takes a few eggs to break to make an omelet. They do not care. It's worth the discomfort. I just showed you their exact words. It's a matter of getting more and more people involved. We need gun violence requires more attention in general. And whatever you do to make that happen, it's more than welcome. doesn't matter they don't care at this point it's a holy quest we must get our gun control and we're going to get our gun control and it doesn't matter what i have to do because we need more demographics and whatever it takes to get that done we're going to do it and i know it might be uncomfortable but that discomfort is worth it to achieve my objective because we need more attention just set it right there <sighs> God in heaven. Guys, these are the people that we're fighting. And I know this is a heavy topic, but this is who we're struggling against. These are the people that want to take our guns and say, just trust them, they know better. There's a little bit of a judgment issue in my opinion, but you guys can be the judgment of that. Judge of that. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.